Good morning, colleagues, and thank you for joining us for our virtual session with Julian and Willem. Our focus shifts now to uh, EPCR Challenge Cup. Uh, the Lions are playing, Emirates Lions are playing against um, Benetton this weekend in Treviso uh, for the round of 16. If the guys are successful, they'll stay over there and they'll play against either Pau or Connacht. Um, so we're hoping for a, a good turnout uh, this weekend. So let us begin the session. I'm going to ask that you raise your hands, please, so that we can have a smooth process. We've got 10 minutes for the session before we release the guys for lunch. Um, I don't see any hands, but whoever's ready to go may continue. Carl Fabian. Thank you, sir. Julian, thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, we spoke yesterday with the Bulls also. The scrums and especially your front row is becoming more and more important, especially if you play in Europe. How do you feel about that statement? <laughs> Hello, Carl. Yeah, thanks for that comment. Yeah, yeah, I think obviously the Bulls had an interesting game. So we, had, we had an interesting discussion. I didn't see that discussion. But for us on this side, yeah, I think we're really proud of the boys. Um, you know, even a guy like Beard that came through now um, when us had his red card. And it's good to have Dreyer back. So yeah, on loose head, we have JP and Morgan. So we just have a great depth with our front rows, um, yeah, which really helps. And obviously the main thing for them is they improve each other each week. Um, just coming against each other, playing against each other. Uh, they've got a great collaborative uh, work, what do you call it, relationship. Yeah, no, it's good. I think, like you said, in Europe, it's important. Um, like Willem will also mention, the fields here differ. You get artificial fields and then you get muddy fields. And uh, and when your scrum is strong, you can expose grounds. So if you have a strong scrum, you'll be able to capitalize. And if you have a weak scrum, you will be um, you know, conceding penalties and ending up in your own half. Is that what you meant with the question, Cole? Yeah, yeah. We also mentioned that you guys are becoming poster boys, but we'll leave that discussion for later on. Um, <laughs> your opponents on Saturday is now, I mean, it's well known to you guys. You've played them quite a bit. Um, what do you think they'll, they'll bring extra to get a win against you? Well, I think the last time we played here, they did um, end up with the win. I think it was a 15 10 result. So, not high scoring or a good defensive team. Good set piece team. The head coach is also the forwards coach, so they pride themselves at that set piece, especially line outs. Uh, great variation in attack. Uh, well, so Willem can add if, if there's anything that I missed, but we, we're taking them seriously. It's also a team that uh, has a lot of Italian internationals that, that's coming from a secure, in their terms, a really successful Six Nations winning the last two games. So yeah, I think they'll be full of confidence uh, coming into this game. Uh, also winning their game against Konach last week in the last minute. So, yeah, I think they'll be full of confidence. And obviously, we coming from a, a what do you call it, a, a bad loss or a loss that really hurts us. And yeah, so we're keen to get ourselves back on the right track. And sorry, my last question being a knockout game, does that bring an extra edge to the game? I think there's a little bit different strategy. Uh, towards the game, you don't need to get bonus points, you just need to win, whether it's by one point, like we saw the Springboks do in all their knockout games in the World Cup, or um, yeah, you don't need to win by a lot of points. So, a little bit of different strategy, but we're looking to just play towards our identity that we are busy building. Um, so, hopefully, we'll see lots of that this weekend. Great right, stuff, appreciate it, and good luck. Thank you, Carl. Carl, thank you very much. We'll take Ross and then uh, followed by Morgan. Thanks, Janiso. How's it, guys? How's it, Julian? How's it, Willem? Um, uh, Willem, uh, you know, this is sort of your last dance now before you hang up the boots. Uh, last go in uh, the Challenge Cup. And uh, is there a bit of uh, emotions about it? Are you looking quite uh, quite looking forward to it? And uh, do you think your, you know, your five years of experience playing in Europe, um, you'll look to draw on that and try help the team get through to the next round? Yes, thanks, Ross. Uh, yes, definitely. I think uh, there's always emotion uh, involved in rugby, but uh, I think for the last five years, I've played my last season, so uh, <laughs> I'm quite used to it uh, by now. And yeah, also since being back at the Lions, I think uh, I've uh, 
I've helped the guys a lot with uh, adapting to the European playing style. Uh, style so it's, it's definitely not for this once-off game which will make a massive difference. I think for the over the last uh, three and a half years, uh, four years, it's it's made a difference. And uh, I think you can also see that in the way that that we've adapted in, into this European competition. Um, so yeah, if, uh, and then um, other than that, it's just uh, another rugby game uh, coming up. We have to do your best and uh, make sure you you have more more points on the scoreboard at the end of the game. <laughs> Thanks, Ross. Morgs? Thanks. Uh, how's it, Coach? How's it, Dylan? Um, coach, my question yeah. to you is that uh, this uh, EPCR Challenge Cup fixture throws a bit of a spanner in the works when it comes to considering the team selection, mm -hmm. uh, especially consider that when you come back, you've got two very big games against uh, Leinster mm -hmm. and Munster. Can you take us through what the thought process is for this week's selection? What are you guys thinking? Is it going full out for this weekend? See what happens if you get through to the to the next stage of the the Challenge Cup, and then take it from there. No, it's a great question, Morgan. And we are still adapting because what could have happened is we could have played this game at home uh, if we beat Ospreys back at home in the, I think it was round three or round four. So now you're sitting uh, overseas, and this tour can be out of three weeks or four weeks. So there's a lot of things to consider. I think the fortunate position that we are finding ourselves in this year is we have built quite uh, good squad depth. So, yeah, even if we do rotate a little bit, we feel it's almost like playing a guy that's been knocking on the door for a long time and he's getting opportunity. And every time we've done that, there's been individuals that put up their hand, uh, which is great to see. That's how the squad has developed. And I think it's good for the squad in, in total. Is if we do decide to rotate a little bit, we end up, um, you know, giving guys a shot that's been really training well or played well in warm-up games or in uh, non-playing games, which, yeah, I think it's good for the squad. And, well, I think we will rotate a little bit, obviously, after a loss. You also look to reward some guys that, had, that did well coming off the bench. So there'll be, there's a lot of things to consider. Um, and like I said, we're still learning how to go about it. But like I said, it's the fortunate position we are in is, if we do make changes, we don't sit with the weaker squad. We actually sit with the squad that we are really excited about. And then just to Willem, um, just to follow up on the previous question from Ross, uh, if this is to be your last season, are there any personal milestones that you still want to achieve? Um, I, I'm not a big milestone uh, guy, so I always just uh, take it uh, game for game and uh, yeah, I just wanna wanna do my best and uh, end off on a on a high if it, if it's meant to be. I mean, I mean every game uh, there's the old cliche that every game every game is your last game. And like I said, for the last five years, that's probably uh, in my case the um, how it's going. So yeah, I just uh, try to enjoy every single game and every single time I get the opportunity. And um, yeah, I, th I think it's when you're at the end of your career. It, it, it it reads it hits home a bit harder that every time you walk onto the field you, you definitely know it might be the last one so you never ever want to go onto a field and, and walk off and, and feel yeah I didn't I didn't give everything uh, for my team and my teammates so uh, yeah so I obviously try just try my best every single game and um, just try to to help the team wherever I can if it's playing or not playing just to make sure that. Uh, that um, I go out um, having the, mo the most fun I can have. Thanks for that, Morgan. That, oh, sorry, sorry, Morgan. One more, yeah? Well, it's been the most fun this season for you. They were looking back at the season and possibly looking forward. What have you enjoyed the most this season uh, from a player's perspective? Um, well, I, I think uh, starting the season off well, uh, I played a couple of games and I, I really went well. Um, obviously picked up a little uh, a muscle injury and then uh, fighting hard to to get back to to full fitness and to be selectable again and then uh, you know and uh, on that whole journey just to still be part of a team um, and uh, there's a lot of enjoyable moments uh, uh, on and off the field um, but uh, 
on the field, I was definitely, I definitely uh, was surprised when they gave me the chance to kick at poles. Um, <laughs> percent success. Yeah, so um, that was quite fun on the field, and uh, yeah, that, that, and and off the field is just just the way that uh, I mean the whole team has uh, has been uh, performing as well, and also you know just always the banter and the jokes and the the, the good fun times of being in a team. Um, is very enjoyable. Marcel, we've enjoyed his involvement as well. <laughs> Thanks, Morgan. Ross, if you don't mind, I'll go with Liam and then I'll come back to you. Liam? Hi, gents. Thank you for the time. Uh, my question's for Julian, but Willem, feel free to jump in as well if you so wish. Um, I think people who've watched the Lions this season have, have been excited, but there's probably also been periods where people have exasperated. Um, you've won more or less half the number of games. I remember at the start of the season, there were a number of close games. Some of them went against you. And then subsequent to that, the the winning margin, whether you win or whether you lose, have been kind of bigger. So there's been inconsistency. Julian, what do you ascribe that to? I mean, and to what extent do you think does the fact that you've got more players to select from now, your pool of players are bigger, how does that factor into it? Yeah, thanks, Liam. Um, good to see you as well. I think for us, uh, obviously chasing consistency, like you said, Niles, we felt we really had some good performances and then we've had some tough performances and then we felt we had performances where we let ourselves down. Um, I think a team that's still growing with the help of senior players like Willem, Breyer and Bubus, uh, the Smith brothers, so there's a lot of senior guys that have been uh, three seasons where consistency has been used, but we are, I think that's the one fix it for us. Is we obviously failed against Connacht. We had a great performance against the Sharks, great performance, so two good performances in a row, and then the third performance, we, we felt we let ourselves down, and that's for us the big learning. Uh, fortunately, we do have senior guys on the team that, that, that helps with uh, getting that almost like confidence to say we can go three, four, five games in a row. So for us, that's the challenge at the moment is to, to work on our consistency and, and get that week in, week out. Um, yeah, like I said, with a bigger squad, uh, what we feel is our training standards are improving because you 15 guys playing or training against 15 guys, but the standard is raised. So I think that's that's big for us. And you know, again, senior players in the team, uh, helping the youngsters. Uh, and it's not just on the field, off the field, it's building their confidence building them up, um, showing them the ins and outs. So I think that's you know, a big positive for us. Thanks, Liam. Uh, Ross? <laughs> Thanks, Jenny. So uh, following up on that, uh, Julian, um, you know, the inconsistency and everything, obviously you guys have now got through that sort of frustrating uh, Six Nations period where you're playing one week off the next and now you've got a really good uh, run in to the end of the season. Um, you know, so how important is it to pick up some good ones now on the road and take that into a very tough home run then uh, in the URC? Um, and, you know, with you playing week in and week out, does that make it a lot easier to fix problems when they are in a game and, uh, you know, then to take that into the next game and try and, you know, sort that out? Oh, it's a good question. I think for players and coaches, I think the, if you get momentum, you want to stay on the momentum. It's it's not great playing one game, two weeks off, one game, one week off, one game, two weeks off. I think that's how we were now going through Jan and or through February especially. So it's lucky to have a couple of games now on the trot and, and a tour as well. Uh, a tour is good for the team. Uh, you have some good fun. The guys um, spend good time together. So... Normally on a tour, you, you get like good team um, team building, which then hopefully when we get back home, we'll pay dividends. Um, when we have those four games against overseas teams uh, back in Joburg, and then the last game is playing the Stormers away, if you're talking URC now, without the EPCR game. So, yeah, looking forward to that. Obviously looking to build some momentum with this Benetton game, and then whatever happens in the quarterfinal, we're either going back to Connacht or going to Pau. And depending on who wins there, if we do win. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to these games now that's playing in a row. And hopefully we can build momentum, taking us into the home stretch. And then, yeah, take back, um, build a fort there at, at Alice Park or Emirates Airline Park. And, yeah, hopefully we can get good attendance and play the rugby we want to play. Fantastic. 
Thanks so much, Ross. Carl, is that an existing hand or you've got a new question? Is the new one? Yes, Owen, did you say? Owen. Sorry. Okay, no, thanks for that call. Um, I think we are done. I don't see any other hands. I think we'll release the guys for lunch. What's for lunch there, by the way, guys? Have you guys checked? We haven't checked, but it's probably pasta. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I must say, uh, uh, especially in Italy, the 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 food can be really good. Um, sometimes just on uh, in the hotel, it's 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 the same. Uh, the quality is very good, but I mean the same menu over and over. Sometimes uh, it can it can catch you a bit. But so um, yeah, I can't wait uh, to have a big braai. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll try to organize one, but the problem is I don't have any proper wood or charcoal to make proper fires here. Yeah, the 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 um, fire brigade will probably pitch up if they see a lot of smoke. The back of the hotel but um, i'm sure we're going to make a plan uh, i think especially among the forwards i think uh, there's a there's a plan to to uh, have a, something nice for the forwards together um, later this week or, or definitely next week fantastic don't forget to include the dessert all right colleagues thank you very much for your time jules uh willem have a good week and we'll chat soon okay. thanks, everyone. thanks guys, Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye. 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 Um, uh, no, it's okay.